Some of them off store shelves. These protesters say it's taking away their rights as citizens to choose and forces them to use pharmaceuticals. And I've been doing herbs all my life. I don't do drugs. I don't do pharmaceuticals. I don't believe in them. And my rights are being taken away. Bill C-51 is designed to ensure supplements are safe before they are put on the market. But the Hoffman Center, which prescribes both drugs and herbal medications, says supplements are safe and in some cases safer than pharmaceuticals. No identifiable deaths from herbs or vitamins or minerals that we know of from this natural uh, healthcare industry. So we're talking about two different entities entirely. Organizers of this rally say if the bill were to pass, up to 70% of all supplements would be illegal, and that could lead to a host of other problems. But if it goes to the extent that what I'm hearing about, that you can get non-elected officials and government agents coming in and raiding your, your place of business because there's not meeting specific criteria, I think we're entering into very dangerous territory. Lucas Boyd hopes the bill fades because he doesn't want to revert back to prescribed drugs. They just had really bad side effects. Some of them made me feel sick and they gave me really bad anxiety. Boyd and those around him will continue their fight. The thought of losing is enough to make these protesters sick to their stomachs. For your city, I'm Bindu Suri.